Hello everybody, welcome to the Snubs Report. My name is Shannon Morse and today I have a brand new video for you all about packing for DEF CON. So I made this huge thread on Twitter about what kind of things you should definitely pack for DEF CON because I've been going for 10 years. So DEF CON is a hacker convention that happens out in Las Vegas, Nevada and it usually happens at the end of July or early August. Since I've been going for 10 years, I've learned quite a bit about what kind of things that you definitely have to bring with you to DEF CON and what kind of things you can generally leave at home. So first off, I would like to thank my sponsor for this video. Yes, I have a sponsor on my personal YouTube channel and it's so exciting. It is CompTIA. So if you aren't familiar with CompTIA, they are the leading provider of vendor neutral IT certs in the world with more than 2 million IT certs issued worldwide. CompTIA is dedicated to helping IT professionals lead the charge in our digitally connected world. For more than 20 years, CompTIA has developed IT training and certification exams and they have regular reviews and updates of those exams to ensure that CompTIA certifications continue to address those needs for technology's challenges in today's day and age. Now, IT certifications, those can help you get your foot in the door. They help you move up in your career by showing employers that you have the skills that they are actually looking for. Specifically, CompTIA's cybersecurity certs include simulations and performance-based questions that prove you not only know what a job entails, but you can actually do it. Whether you are just starting your cybersecurity career or moving into a specialty, or solidifying your spot as the cybersecurity team leader, CompTIA has a certification for you. CompTIA Security Plus gives you the foundational knowledge that you'll need in any cybersecurity role and many roles across IT. CompTIA SciSA Plus and CompTIA's Pentest Plus delve further into cybersecurity specialties, validating the complementary skills of offensive and defensive cybersecurity teams. And if you've been in cybersecurity for a while and you want to remain in a hands-on enterprise security, incident response and architecture role rather than moving into management, CASP is the right one for you. So if you want to learn more, go to certification.comptia.org and I will put that link down below in the show notes. Again, thank you so much for sponsoring me, Comptia. And now on to the packing list. So the first thing that you might think you need for DEF CON would be your laptop, like my beautiful sparkly stickered up laptop here. But for most cases and most scenarios, it's just going to be a lot of added weight and a lot of additional storage that's going to be taken up in your backpack. So I would actually not suggest bringing your laptop as opposed to most people who would probably tell you to go ahead and bring it. Unless you're doing a contest, a CTF, or you're there for a class, then you probably don't need to bring your laptop. The next thing I'll suggest is a few different things that you can bring on the airplane with you to entertain yourself. This would include things like your Kindle, your cell phone with some downloaded movies or music on it, as well as a really nice headset. I like to bring my Bose QC20s, which I've had for years and they haven't failed me yet. They're really great on airplanes. And also, of course, my Nintendo Switch, which I bring with me every single time I'm on an airplane because I still haven't played all through Breath of the Wild. I'm a completionist. I want to get 100%, so I'm still making my way through this game. Now, you probably also want to bring a few tools with you as well. Now, with this, of course, you are going to need some additional plugs. One of my favorites is this little Belkin plug, which includes three different outlets outlets for AC as well as two different USB ports at the top. So this enables me to plug everything in directly to a wall outlet as opposed to using somebody's USB charger, which can be a little less secure. This one is also really cool because I can press down on a button in the back and I can move this right or left depending on which way the outlet is actually lined up. So if it won't necessarily fit this way, I can tilt it and fit it in that way. Another thing that you cannot forget is additional chargers and batteries. So I have with me a few different chargers and I usually choose fabric cables because they tend to last a long time. I also bring a little anchor battery with me all the time because this is the one that charges my phone at least twice and I bring additional batteries. Now you may be wondering, what are all these batteries for? So one of the funnest parts of DEF CON is going and collecting badges, electronic badges. And these are just a few of my collection of, I probably have 40 or 50 but at this point because I've been going to cons for so long. 
I should definitely do a badge life video, shouldn't I? But these are a few different ones that I have received. This one is a Goon Box badge, I have Hacker Warehouse's badge, a Skydog Com badge, AV Tokyo, and I also have the DC801 badge here. But these are really fun to show your appreciation for hacker lifestyle, and these are also really good practice if you want to get one that you have to solder yourself. Now with many of these, they will either take the little CR2032 batteries or they will take double A's, so I highly suggest bringing spares so that you can play with your badge throughout the entire convention. Now, of course, with those badges included in this, you are going to be making some friends. You are going to be networking. So I always bring a nice big stack of business cards. Yes, I know these are totally old school, but business cards are actually one of the best ways that I have found to remember people's names and also make sure that I contact them after the convention is over. If I just follow them on Twitter, they're going to get lost in my Twitter follows. But if I bring home something physical, that way I know for sure that I met somebody and I should probably follow up with them. This is especially useful if you are looking to get a job or if you are looking to hire somebody at the convention as well. Now, I always like to bring a few tools with me as well just to help other people out in case they forgot something at home. I don't have a portable soldering gun. I usually just stick to one of my friend's soldering guns for that if I need anything. Another good thing is to bring duct tape. However, I usually don't carry duct tape myself because somebody else always has it. This is one that I tend to bring either a knife or a little multi-tool. So this is my multi-tool. It's a little Gerber multi-tool and it has everything that you need in it. There's a little knife, there's a screwdriver, there's a little wrench. Everything that you could possibly need is stuck in this teeny tiny, tiny compact compartment. Now, of course, I can't bring this on the plane, so I usually ask one of my friends that's driving to DEF CON to just bring this with them, or I put it in checked luggage. One thing that I do bring on the plane with me is my lock picking set. So this is my Southward lock picking set that I've had for several years now, and it's really highly durable because it has nice thick handles, so they don't break off, they don't get ruined over time. But this is a really nice compact little piece that you can bring with you if you're interested in going to the lock picking village and maybe just learning a little bit more about how to do lock picking. Now while I can bring this little tool set with me on a plane from where I live, you may want to check your local laws to just make sure that you can do the same thing. So another tool that I like to bring with me is my Beofong radio. So I am a ham licensed radio operator. I can transmit legally, which means that I can just stick this with me at a convention and I can get on the con hams radio frequency and I can talk to other people that are at the convention with me. So it's a really cool way to just make some friends and talk to random people if you're into that kind of thing. Now of course I don't go to any convention without my Wi-Fi pineapples. So I have a couple of Wi-Fi pineapples. I have my Wi-Fi pineapple Nano and I also have my Wi-Fi pineapple Tetra. Now of course depending on how much space you have in your backpack you might want to bring the Nano since it's a little bit smaller than the Tetra. However the Tetra is more powerful. So Usually it just depends on how much room I have left on my backpack on the day that we decide to leave. Uh, that tells me which one I should pack. So I'll probably end up bringing the Nano this time around just because I also have a cute little carrying case that I can put it in. And it fits in my purse, so why wouldn't I bring it? Another physical pen testing device that I like to bring with me is my USB rubber ducky. So if you're familiar, this thing types like a keyboard. It types super, super quickly and you can script it to do all sorts of things. Anything that you can do on a keyboard, you can do on the rubber ducky. It's super fun and disclaimer, of course, Hack5 sells these as well as the Wi-Fi Pineapple and they also created them. But I like to bring my rubber ducky just to have some happy fun pranks while I'm at the convention. Of course I don't do anything bad, but it's really fun to like change people's wallpapers and stuff. Another fun little tool is this fox and the hound hunting type of device. So this is by War Collar Industries and if you turn it on and then you look through the little scope right there, you will be able to see once it boots up directional antenna based information on all of the wireless networks that are around you. And it's so much fun to just look around and see what networks are around you. And you can also play with your friends. So if they have a portable AP on them, you can run around and try to find them throughout a crowd. So this is a really fun device that you can kind of make a bar game out of. And lastly, I do like to bring a Faraday bag with me that I can put my cell phone in to block any kind of radio frequencies or transmissions. Uh, the first one that I have is over here, which 
I got laser etched with my name, my handle, Snubs. Uh, this one is from privacycase.com and it's big enough to fit a pretty large cell phone inside of it. And the second one I have is called the Black Hole Faraday Bag, which is the one that I usually put in my purse because it's a little less heavy than the Privacy Case one. But this one is nice because it has a window on the front so you can see any kind of pop-ups for notifications from like your calendar or if you have an alarm that's going to go off or if you just want to tell the time you can see all of those things through this little window. But I have tested both of these. I know that they both work very well as far as blocking frequencies whenever you stick your cell phones in them. So I know that these are definitely a great security option. Now to wrap it up, I did want to give you a few more tips as far as what you should pack whenever you're going to Vegas in general. Definitely bring some really good walking shoes or maybe even two pairs if you intend to walk every single day. Bring some water if you want to fill up at the airport, that's totally fine, but water is very expensive on the strip and it's also extremely dry and extremely hot out there and the casinos are generally full of smoke. So along with the water you might even want to bring a face mask in case you are very sensitive to smoke in the casinos or bring a scarf that you can easily remove in case the casino management gives you trouble for having a mask on on the casino floor. Hand sanitizer is one of my best friends whenever I go to conventions because I'm shaking a lot of hands and I don't want to get sick after the con ends. Snacks are very expensive in hotel casinos and in hotels as well, so I highly recommend to everyone to just grab a Lyft or grab an Uber, go over to CVS or go over to Walgreens and collect all sorts of healthy snacks that you can. Fruits, veggies, any kind of protein, definitely stock up on the water, just get things that are going to keep you hydrated and going to keep up your energy. When you get to your hotel room, make sure to fill up your bath with water. It sounds so weird, but that is one of the best ways that I have found to keep the room from getting super, super dry, which will in turn make you lose your voice while you're talking at the convention. And I think that's everything that I wanted to mention on my packing list. Of course, with me, I have podcasting gear, so I have a camera that I bring with me. I have a bunch of extra batteries for the camera. I have a microphone, I have a light, all sorts of stuff. But generally, you won't need to bring those for your own packing. Also, make sure that you bring something long sleeve, like a sweater or a hoodie or a zip up jacket or something that will keep you warm. Every single time I check into one of those casino hotels, I find that the AC is cranked up super high and the thing is just cold as can be when I check into my room. So I always find myself needing some kind of long sleeve jacket or something like that. Something that will be easy to remove whenever you step outside because it's gonna be like 100 degrees outside in the desert. But I'm pretty sure that's everything. So all in all, just make sure to have a really good time. Go in with a positive mindset. If you're going by yourself, make sure that you have some kind of buddy system with somebody that you meet there or somebody that you know. That's always really helpful to keep up with the safety and security and of course, I always recommend to the ladies out there to never accept any open beverages whenever you are at a convention. So I'm going to be at DEF CON this year and I'm super excited. I'm giving a keynote over at Diana Initiative. So if you are going to Diana Initiative and you have a ticket, definitely check out my keynote speech on Thursday. And we will also have the Hack5 booth over in the vendor room as usual. So again, thank you so much to CompTIA for sponsoring this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about what else you should bring, definitely Definitely comment below and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more make sure to like and subscribe so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye